A lot of us have this like, oh, it's the morning, I'm tired, and, and I myself as well. And I don't want to continuously have that mindset. It is a blessing every day to wake up. up and welcome or welcome back to my channel and most importantly happy new year my name is Shalia if you are new here and welcome to another video so so you guys can tell by the title this video is going to be sort of like a new year new like a new year reset like not 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 like new year new me think new year improved me that's what I'm that's what I'm thinking for the year um I wanted to start the new year right and kick it off by just resetting my space and like you know trying to get some things in place and setting some good intentions for myself so I'm actually about to jump on a FaceTime call with my girlfriends one of my really good friends Jamora she's not living here right now she's actually living in South Carolina um you guys might remember we went down to visit her back in the beginning of October um so we couldn't do it together um in person so we decided to jump on a FaceTime call and I was like what better day than to create a vision board for the new year than on the very first day of the year and just really set the tone for the rest of the year um I have no real hardcore like I 100% like this needs to get done this year this is what I'm gonna do this year because there's always that saying if you want to make God laugh tell him your plans right I'm really putting myself in God's hands here I'm setting some intentions for myself and some like you know light expectations and I'm gonna sort of let the Lord see me through the rest of the way um just because I'm a firm believer in things will happen in their own time um but you can also help facilitate it in some way shape or form but ultimately it ain't up to us it's up to the big boy upstairs you know what I'm saying so yeah so I just wanted to kick off the video um in this video today mostly we're gonna just be like I said doing the vision board and then I'm gonna do some cleaning take down my Christmas stuff and just really like reset my home for the new year you guys know my house has been under construction for quite a while um so the floors are still a mess and the walls are not finished done are not finished done wow are not done being painted just yet but um I'm gonna like you know try and just clean sweep and like get everything as clean and organized as possible for the next r wave of construction that's gonna get started but also because I'm still living in this space I just want it to be as clean and as comfortable as it can be once I take down all of my Christmassy stuff um but yeah so that's basically what this video is about I hope you guys enjoy it, it like outside of the FaceTime call with my girlies it's probably mostly going to be um b-roll in this video or like you know you guys jamming to some music while I get it all done um but I hope you guys still enjoy it um but yeah let me go pick up this phone call where the hell what what just happened to Khadija oh there she goes ladies hello ladies hello how are you it's so lovely to see you in the new year. Lovely. Chip, chip, cheerio. <laughs> I could not with us. Basically, like, I was like, one of my goals this year is just to, like, stay super, try and stay on track. And it's hard to stay on What What I find that happens to me is that when my schedule gets thrown off, yeah. Like when Chalice was here for three weeks and then when we I went to Florida then came back and went to South Carolina like my right. schedule gets so thrown off and my sleep schedule gets even worse and then and then it happened again like I started this new job and it ha and like mm. and again my just everything that I'm trying to do gets thrown out of whack now granted December was a hot mess because I was so sick I had that cold for literally like two and a half weeks yeah and I feel like my asthma is still not right after I had it like so That's cough crazy. like I'm not coughing anymore but like my asthma's still like all over the place so I'm just like I, I like December I think I have a bit of a more valid like yeah, <laughs> excuse yeah. but um everything else is just I feel like my sleep schedule and stuff like that so I'm opening my canva right I'm doing a digital mood board because I yeah because I like to put them on my phone mm -hmm. I like for my phone my screensaver Yep. To be my mood board. So. This is my first time making one. Oh, cute. Good for you, girl. I've never done one before, guys. No way. First one. 
can I tell you what I did print out? Because I was like, for me, it just, it, it represents for me, like, fun. Uh-huh. Yes! We love that! We love a Uno game! I was like, I just, you know, it was Come so on, fucking funny. Down. I saw it and was like, yes. Come sit Definitely. down. Come sit down. Yes, Relax. Yes. So this is mine from last year. Um, If you can see it. Oh, she's cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I had a lot of YouTube stuff on there. Yeah. Talking, and a lot of this is going to go roll right into my next one. Um, uh, like, there was a lot of content on here, some travel, um, there was a photo of, like, a bunch of girls, which represented y'all, like, right here in the corner. Um, but I, my overall, like, thing that I used last year, dead smack in the middle, which I'm gonna use again, mm -hmm. it says, God always has a plan, and yes, it's way better than you imagine. Yes. Because I just, like, I'm tired of, like, being like, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do this, and then, like, being upset when I can't, like, bring that to fruition, but also, like, right. some, I, like, everything has a time, and everything has a right time, and I think I'm, I just, like, want to keep that in the back of my head as well, and not be so, like, down on myself, like, yes, like, it's important for you to play a major role, like, you know, you know, you ever see that thing where it's like you beg God for like t for a cake, right? You're like, I want a cake. I want a cake. I want a cake. I want a cake. And he yeah. gives you all the tools to make the cake, but you don't make the cake. Right. Like, it's like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I have the tools, I want to get it done. But I don't want to be hard on myself if I don't have the tools. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like I, my, my, my focus these days is more on getting the tools rather than being so upset like that the outcome doesn't come but being like you couldn't have done that even if you yeah tried like you know what I mean so that's sort of where I'm at right now I dig it yeah I'm into that yeah I, I'm shot of like our dinner in Iceland oh my god first of I all wait that. wait wait put that back up put that back up who took that picture it was from a video I just oh video oh so yeah. cute okay Jamoran, what about you so a lot of my things are just stuff that i'm trying to get back into because okay. i feel like the last three years i haven't done any of these things okay like, i haven't sat and finished a book oh like i'm a reader i read. i know yeah I read heavy yeah i finished the book and i couldn't tell you how long really i haven't drawn anything i haven't painted anything i haven't like written anything and those are things that i've always been known to do mm -hmm. it's just not needing an explanation for it it's just something that like brings me joy and yeah. i've not done any of it mm -hmm. So I'm trying to get back to my basics. Yeah. To find some peace. You Love know? that. Well, I think I'm gonna actually try to get back into dating this year as well. Okay. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> we'll let me let me be an example for you. Lol. L O L. Laugh that ass off, cause that shit was hilarious. Cause like what? I also really like I feel like I say this all the time and then I just don't yeah. do it. I really wanna like going to the gym. I do. <laughs> you know what? I like uh, so I funny enough now that I have that walking pad, uh huh. I started like lifting weights at home. And I actually really love it. Really? I 
Okay, guys, so we just finished our vision board. It was, like, actually really so nice to do that with the ladies. It was also just inspiring. Like, you should already feel in super inspired when you're doing your vision board anyway. But being able to do it with my friends who know me well, who I have a lot of these conversations with and things like that, was just really nice. It was also nice to, like, hear someone else talk about their dreams, their goals, and, like, be like, damn, you know what? I really like that. I should add that to my list. Like, you know what I mean? So just, like, a lot of things. Um, you guys heard some of their um, goals and stuff like that, but I'm not going to share their vision boards just for their own reasons, but I will share mine. I don't mind um, doing that. So I showed you guys, obviously, before, but I'm going to just talk about, like, a couple of the things that are on here. Um, if it focuses. So, obviously, there's, like, relationship stuff here. Um, there is talks of being debt-free. There's a YouTube plaque here. Um, then it's just me, discussions of me, like, creating a life that I want. So, okay, really quick. So, like, with the relationship thing, obviously, like, I'm single right now, which I'm, like, totally cool with being single, but then I have to have... Then I have these moments where I remember that, like, I'm getting older and, like, I hate that thought of, like, a biological clock. But, like, I want to be a mom. I want to get married. I want, like, you know, all of these beautiful things for myself. And, you know, I got my foot wet. I got my toe. I, put, I dipped my toe. <laughs> like, what? I dipped my toe in in 2023 with dating and just getting back out there and stuff like that. And so I just want to continue that in 2024. But really what those photos really represent is, like, healthy happy relationships that align with a person that really aligns themselves with my same core beliefs who also might will obviously also bring in their own and together like sort of uplift each other like that's what that like really means to me so there's a photo of a, the picture of the couple um like holding hands like they're on a plane and like just like not not that that's the only thing but like traveling is really important to me quality time is really important to me um like I said seeing values is all important to me so that's sort of just what that represents that photo represents and then there's this picture of the top I love this it's like a guy like kissing his girlfriend and they're laughing and that one for me was just about like I said being healthy and being with a partner who's really your friend like you know what I mean like really your best friend and you know great relationships have great friendships behind them you know what I mean it's not just like this romantic aspect so that's what that so photo means um I'm you guys probably heard me mention earlier I'm loving I, I read this and it said create the life you want to wake you can't wait to wake up to and I love that because a lot of us have this like oh it's the morning I'm tired and, and I myself as well and I don't want to continuously have that mindset it is a blessing every day to wake up and I, and I know that, but every now and then I tend to forget it. But if you are also just applying the mindset not and not just like to, towards material things, um, you can't, you shouldn't, you, you, you should have the mindset like, damn, I can't wait to wake up every day. Like, you know what I mean? And the only real way to, to put that mindset into place is to actively be working on creating that life, that dream life. Like, you know what I mean? Um, then it's just like says like, I'm successful. There's a lot on here about health and wellness. So I want to be healthier overall. Um, last year, you guys know, um, I started going to Pilates. I was attempting to work out and just like Pilates I stopped doing because of my back. I have um, sh uh, things going on with my back and my shoulder and my arms and the straps and things like that was really just causing me more pain than less. I will get back to it. Like my goal later this year is to get back to it. I do have an appointment later this month to sort of get to the bottom and the root of the problem but overall like even if I can't actively be like working out I don't like working out guys like outside of like Pilates and walking like I let me not say I don't like working out that is not accurate I don't like going to the gym to like a physical gym I'm not a fan of it but I've also been trying to tell myself like to take myself out of that mindset um but I think it's just the setting of the gym it's not actually the working out because I enjoyed going to Pilates very much which y'all know used to kill me sometimes like literally I would leave and my legs would be noodles um so there's that um but overall I just want to be healthy internally and internally externally and mentally and emotionally like I want all around my health to be to be there um which is why 
uh, in the last video, I've been talking about getting on supplements. Um, so another thing we were talking about on the call was um, my focus and like, you know, my organization and things like that. And my friend Jamora was telling me that the same brand that I just purchased the magnesium from, Moon Juice, they have a supplement called Super You. I'll read it to you guys really fast. And like I said, all of this sort of just ties into my board here. So the Moon Juice Magnesium that I already ordered, um, it's about relaxation. It enhances feelings of calm. It improves your mood and relaxes, uh, reduces muscle aches. It supports your brain health for a healthy cognitive aging and brain function and regularity. It supports your bowel movement, soothes and alleviates mild bloating during PMS. Um, and really, like, I threw that into my cart because I go I fall asleep easily I don't stay asleep and I really think it's just because my mind is constantly at work so I'm really trying to find things that are like calming me down slowing me down and things like that um the other one that she the one I she was telling me about is called super you it's daily stress management energy mood and focus and the benefits are reduce physical mental emotional fatigue it reduces your cortisol by 24 percent boosts your energy and your mood it enhances your focus and mental stamina and pro uh, protect from um, oxidative stress and control stress related weight gain so she said she's tried those she's like i can attest to myself like they're really great so i'm gonna go ahead and add that to my card as well and i'll keep you guys posted later with how i feel about those in a different vlog um after i start to use them but yeah, so that's basically what the vision board was about and our FaceTime call was about. It was just setting some intentions, setting some goals, and really aligning ourselves. And another thing that Jamora told us about, which I'm actually so, so, so excited to do, um, I'm going to just show it really fast. Um, her and her sister created a 2024 bingo card. And I was like, that is genius. So it literally looks like a bingo card. But what you do is you go on and you punch in all these like goals that you want to achieve and they're sort of playing it together. So whoever like, you know, completes their row first, you know, whatever. I'm not sure like what their reward is going to be at the end or even if there is one. But I love this. So um, her, some of hers are just like um, doing a month of no sugar, a month of no eating out, reading 12 books in a year. Um uh making sure she walks every day uh, like just like you know like I said I'm not gonna go too far and that's hers I'm not I don't want to like overshare that but yeah so I was like damn I love that so aligning the vision board with the bingo card I think will be super interesting to see like how long it takes me to do those so I'm gonna spend some time later on today or maybe tomorrow um, and sort of figure out how I want to do that. But right now, I'm about to jump into cleaning and just organizing. I'm going to wash dishes, take down my Christmas tree, put away my ornaments, my lights, like all that stuff. And um, like I said earlier, just sort of get my house together because it looks cuckoo freaking bananas right now. So I'm going to do some, throw some laundry in the wash, wash the dishes, etc., etc. You guys will see, we'll see. The rest of this video is most likely going to be B-roll, so... I hope you enjoy the music that I've selected for you. Oh, 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 oh. I swear that there's a list of places that I've been with you. I wanna go without you, just so I can know what it's like to be there without having to argue. Swear I didn't have the discipline to leave your ass at home You make it hard to This life would take a lot of listening to one another Shouldn't have involved to I know not to Leave you at home if I wanna have a good night Leave you at home if I wanna have a good time Peace of mind Leave you at home being honest with you sometimes I might leave you at home Blue bubbles blowing my line Hard times stressed out
one that you dealt with No badge of honor, no ceremony or benefits I gotta start us up a support group with a membership Your girls in the bathroom laying down white lines like supremacists Walk hard and see every miss Champagne is Benedict Zoom call with a therapist I'll get into you, girl, but late night you a terrorist The girl that the boy cherishes Working late night at the pyramid And it ain't right Ain't something I can make right Fucking up another date night Fucking up another great night Message red like a break light Word shot like a steak knife Fishing for some dancers in the ocean With a fucking great wife We in a club but you gay friends Always put you on a straight flight You wise sell like buy me some I'm wise sell like a snake bite I swear to God you think I'm Shakespeare That's why you always wanna play right This ain't something I can make right